What is going on everyone? Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good start to your Labor Day weekend. Before we go upstairs to the truck and start the actual topic of the video, we got a little unboxing to do. I'm very excited of these two boxes that came today. I will show you numero uno and we will pop this puppy open and we'll see what's inside. All right, package number one. Here we go, man. Pretty excited for this. I'll pull them all out here, hold on. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Okay, here they are. We now are back in stock, baby. Tundra Dude 34 stickers. I got four piles of these, like 500 of them, okay? So we are in stock. A lot of people have been asking, and I've been having to tell them to come back at another time because we ran out, and I was waiting for the order to be filled. All right, so the order is here. Uh, you get three for five bucks. Three for five bucks. What do you think about that? Um, if you're interested in these, contact me, tundradude34 at gmail.com, and I will give you PayPal information, and we can get her done. Now, on to package two. So I did what they call an accidental unboxing. I thought I hit the record button when I just opened this box, but I didn't. Uh, so here's the second half of the unboxing. The key tags are here, ladies and gentlemen. The key tags. Sewn, tundradude34. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for these. We have 50 of them. I have 50 of these. So we're going to sell these for 8 bucks, including shipping. Uh, three for five dollars on the sticker including shipping so get them while they last like I said there's only 50 of these these are gonna go quick because I know a lot of you have been waiting for these so as always I thank you for your patronage to the channel and for your help and these were the things that people wanted hardcore so they are now in stock all you have to do tundra do 34 gmail.com contact me and I'll give you PayPal information and I will send it your way so let's get on to the actual video now thank you guys So let's get to the business at hand. So one year ago, September, I bought the supercharger. It was at the end of the month. So the whole month of September, I'm gonna have videos throughout talking about the supercharger, certain things about it, everything. And then at the end of the month, we will do the one year impressions video. But today we're gonna talk about some pros and cons that I've dealt with with the supercharger. Basically some things for you guys to look out for if you wanna buy one. Now, when I bought my supercharger, um, you know, I, like everybody else, a lot of people I talk to, they're afraid. They're worried about their warranty. They're worried about, um, you know, how reliable is the part? What does it do to the motor? All that kind of thing. So I kind of just, because I have the YouTube channel, I bought the supercharger, put it in here so I can report back to you guys some of the things that I deal with on a daily basis. This truck is daily driven. The supercharger is daily driven. Um, I'm not out in Baja, you know, I'm not on the sand dunes doing crazy cool things with the supercharger uh, like that. The good thing is I can if I want to, but I wanted to show you guys, the whole point of buying the supercharger was to show you guys how it is every day. Like when you get off the sand dunes or when you get back from the trails, what is it like driving to work every day? Is it annoying? Uh, does it gas guzzle? Well, we're gonna go over all that right now and we will start with some cons. So here are my three cons for the supercharger. Some of them are very obvious, but here we go. Number one is price. Um, it is a little steep in price, roughly $7,000. Um, but at the end of the day, the performance is there. Um, it's not like you're buying a cold air intake where it's promising you 40 horsepower, which wouldn't happen. Um, the horsepower is there. It's roughly, I think it's 150 horsepower gain, roughly, 381, yeah, about 150 horsepower gain. Same thing with the torque. Uh, so it definitely produces what it says it's gonna produce, but at the end of the day, a lot of people can't afford $7,000. And just so you know, it is available at Sparks Parts, so you could use the promo code TUNDRADUDE34 to save 5% on your purchase of the Magnuson Supercharger. Now 5%, it's like 400 bucks in savings right there, so not bad at the end of the day. Happy to help you, happy to help you save, but I do want you to experience a Supercharger, so save a little cashola, and there, that's where you go, Sparks Parts. So number two on my cons list is it requires premium fuel. Now. 93, I, I put in 93, it requires 91 or 93 octane fuel, uh, obviously to get the part running correctly. It's just one of those things, nature of the beast, that's what it comes with. When you buy expensive parts, it's gonna require expensive things that go along with it. It's kinda like when you go out and you buy a Porsche, okay? 
you spend all the money on that Porsche up front, but then the cost of ownership is still expensive throughout. So that's kind of what you got to kind of put it into with the Magnuson Supercharger. You're going to have to fill it up with premium. And when I first got the Supercharger, gas prices were low, but now gas prices are up a little bit. So I'm paying over $100 to fill up, but you know what? At the end of the day, in my opinion, it's worth it. And number three on the list is MPG. Before I bought the Supercharger, a lot of people were saying, you get the Supercharger, it helps the MPG, the truck starts getting 20 miles per gallon, all that kind of stuff. That is not true. Um, the truck actually gets, for me, the last year, between 15 and 16 MPG. Uh, that's kind of where it hangs out all the time. As far as what the, the center information screen between the gauges says, it says you're getting 20, 21 MPG. It's just not the case. Um, it's pretty much being tricked because it's all this forced induction, all this air is coming in. The motor thinks it's getting crazy good MPG and that's just not the case. So you can't trust the center screen once you get the supercharger anymore. You gotta do like I do, pump to pump calculations. So I do that every once in a while just to see where my MPG is at. So it's between 15 and 16. So it doesn't necessarily hurt the MPG, but it definitely doesn't help like some people have been saying online before I bought it. So those are my three uh, cons. I do have one to add that's not necessarily a con, but just something to look out for. I guess it'll depend on where you're at. But finding an installer was kind of tough. Um, luckily, I had Frank, uh, Gall Toyota, and Adam up there, who is the master tech. He did it for me. But there are a lot of dealerships who won't do it. They won't touch it. Um, there's a lot of dealerships that will do it, but have no experience doing it. So there's not really a good set price out there as far as how much to install, because they're not really sure uh, what they should be charging. I paid, I think I paid 15, 1600 for install, all right, which is pretty good. You could go to Sparks Parts. They not only sell them, but they also install them. So you could go there. It's good to find a trusted uh, person or shop that can install this stuff. If you go on the Magnuson website, there are Magnuson approved shops and they'll show you in your state and everything like that. But around here, there were definitely a few dealerships that were like, absolutely not, not touching that. So that's not necessarily a con, just something to look out for if you buy. You might want to do the research ahead of time. If you're near South Carolina, I suggest you just go Sparks Parts. They have been dealing with the superchargers for God knows how long. Even back when it was TRD superchargers, they were installing then too. So that's kind of your place to go. So we did all the negatives. Once again, price, it requires premium and MPG. But now let's talk about some pros. All right, and here are the three pros of the supercharger. Number one, most obviously, the power increase. It really makes the truck just light on its feet, springy. Uh, it's just always has power there for you when you want it. I love it. I love the feeling on the highway. That's my number one win for the supercharger is the way it feels on the highway. Passing cars, it just, it just feels like it's so much faster. It doesn't feel like a 6,000 pound truck at all. It just does wonders for it. And I know you're probably sitting there saying, well, yeah, obviously it makes it feel faster, but it's just a feeling that you can't describe unless you've driven it yourself. It just, it shocks anyone that's in this truck with me. Not just me, they're like, wow, this, this truck really moves. It just doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, huge power increase, love it, always ready to go. No lag through the RPM range. All right. Sometimes you'll be, you know, driving at highway speeds and you want to pass a car and it almost feels like the truck has to like really get itself going and go slowly through the RPM range to get up to speed to get around the car. Not this. There's always power there. So power is definitely number one for me. Number two on the pros list is sound. All right. So not only it's kind of a two part thing here. Not only do you get the great sound that comes out of the engine bay of that supercharger wine that we all know and love, but you also get it on the opposite end, not a lot of sound when you don't want it. So when you're cruising, it doesn't get annoying. You barely hear it if you don't want to hear it. You put your foot on the pedal, you hear it. You come off a traffic light, you hear it. That kind of thing. You're joining the highway on the ramp, you hear it. But when you're traveling, it's not whining the whole time or anything like that. So I went out, a couple video clips for you here. Check it out, this is what I mean.
right, so there are a few examples. You get that supercharger whine when you're getting up to speed, but when you're cruising around, you don't really hear it at all. So that's definitely a win-win in both directions there. So last but not least, and this is very important for a lot of people out there uh, when it comes to the supercharger, my last pro is the warranty. Magnuson offers you a fantastic warranty, three years, 36,000 mile warranty. So that protects everything that you may potentially void from Toyota. So that's a good thing. That should be peace of mind for you. Another part of that is it's not only a great warranty, it's great build quality. This is the number one thing people are afraid of when they buy a supercharger or when they're thinking about a supercharger. Um, is it gonna blow up my engine? Um, what's gonna happen if something goes wrong? Is Toyota gonna shun me away? Uh, will Magnuson have my back if something goes wrong? Um, they do have your back, like I said, with the warranty, but the build quality, the reliability of the part, the time and money Magnuson puts into research and development is amazing to me. I. 100% and behind their part. I don't feel ever like something's wrong with the truck. Anytime I've ever asked them a question on any of their social media outlets, they answer it immediately. Uh, they want you to be happy with your purchase. They know it's a lot of money, so they definitely want you to be happy with your purchase. So they give you that great warranty and they give you the peace of mind, which is a good, reliable part that gives you all that power. All right, ladies and gentlemen, those are my pros and cons of the Magnuson Supercharger after just about one year of ownership. Absolutely thrilled with it. A++ to Magnuson, great people, great product. Totally pumped to have it in the truck. Would I do it again? Would I get another supercharger? Oh yes, absolutely would, absolutely would. So let me know what you think, comment below the video. Don't forget, stickers are back in stock and now we have those key tags that everybody has wanted. So if you're interested in the key tags, hit me up, 100 dude 34 gmailcom I will answer any of your questions and tell you how to order. All right guys, cool. We'll see you later. Have a good Saturday. Take care.